Argonauts were very early explorers, most likely the first Greek voyagers to the Black Sea. They sailed from Thessaly, where their leader, Jason, was the rightful king. Now, according to the myth, Jason's father was deposed by his half-brother, who was warned at the time how he would in turn be overthrown by a man wearing only one sandal. Now, in order to protect Jason from Peleus, the father's brother, he secretly sent his son to Charon to educate the young man like many of the other heroes of the day. Of course, when Jason became a man, he wanted to return and assume his kingly duties. On the way, Hera, using her goddess powers, threw some tests Jason's way, and, and disguised as an old woman, Jason agreed to carry her across the river, at the end of which he had lost one of his sandals. This fulfilled the prophecy, as Jason made his intentions known publicly at a large festival. So Peleus could not kill his nephew without running the risk of disfavoring the gods. Of course, this didn't stop the guy from trying to kill him. He sent Jason on the quest for the Golden Fleece. He told him if he could bring this back, that he would give him the throne. This was viewed as an impossible task. I'm sure Jason was thinking, there's no way this guy's going to give me the throne. But they figured that Jason would die. Regardless of this, though, it was the Delphic Oracle that gave Jason the push he needed to undertake the quest, and off he went, though not by himself, for Hera wouldn't have any of that. She convinced a number of Thessalian warriors to join Jason's expedition, thus becoming known collectively as the Argonauts. Hercules, or Heracles, was an Argonaut. They crewed the ship of the Argo across many seas of marvels and visiting strange lands and overcoming many obstacles. And with the assistance of Medea and her magical skills, they were able to obtain the Golden Fleece and escape with their lives. Guess what? King Peleus still didn't want to give up the throne. Imagine that. But with a little help from those magical skills of Medea's again, she was able to convince his children to cut him up and boil him so his youth could be restored. Yeah, think about it. That's what she did. Yeah, make that shit up. Over the course, Jason eventually strays from Medea to another, and of course Medea whips out those magical skills, and again, that was the end of the new girl and her family and everybody else. Eventually, Jason did die in Corinth from a rotten piece of the Argo coming loose and hitting him in the head. Yep, like I said, can't make this stuff up. Hey, thanks for watching. Click subscribe down there, click like, pass it along to a friend, share it on Facebook, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we've got some good stuff here at Travel Super Project.